in this class we are going to discuss about the chemical properties of sulfur dioxide in previous period we were discussed the preparation methods structure and physical properties of sulfur dioxide the last point chemical properties of sulfur dioxide first chemical property that is reaction with chlorine what is the action of chlorine with the sulfur dioxide when cl2 that is chlorine reacts with sulfur dioxide in presence of charcoal in presence of charcoal and it is at high temperature to gives the so2cl2 called as sulfuryl chloride chlorine reacts with sulfur dioxide to form the sulfuryl chloride is the first chemical property second reaction with oxygen that is burning of sulfur dioxide in presence of air when sulfur dioxide burnt in air presence of oxygen in catalyst b2o5 vanadium pentoxide to gives the sulfur trioxide conversion of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide reaction with the oxygen in presence of vanadium pentoxide is the second chemical property third chemical property of sulfur dioxide with sodium hydroxide is the base when sulfur dioxide reacts with alkali that is sodium hydroxide to gives the sodium sulfite sodium sulfite sulfur dioxide reacts with alkali that is sodium hydroxide to form the sodium sulfite next reaction with sodium sulfite what is the action of sodium sulfite with the sulfur dioxide when sulfur dioxide reacts with sodium sulfite in aqueous medium aqueous medium that is dilute to gives the sodium hydro sulfite so the conversion of sulfur dioxide into sodium hydro sulfite by reaction with the sodium sulfate all these are the three chemical properties of sulfur dioxide it indicates the reaction of sulfur dioxide with a different products to gives the number of compounds last chemical property of sulfur dioxide is reducing property what is reducing property sulfur dioxide acts as reducing agent in presence of moisture it indicates in a dry condition sulfur dioxide cannot show the reducing property but in moist that is in aqueous medium it indicates reducing properties in moist sulfur dioxide reduces moist sulfur dioxide reduces ferric salt into ferrous salt the conversion of ferric salt into ferrous salt by presence of moist sulfur dioxide so see the reactions this is fe3 having plus 3 charge that is ferric salt ferric ion this ferric ion is converted into ferrous ferric ion is converted into the ferrous that property is called as reducing property for that purpose it required the sulfur dioxide in aqueous medium so ferric salt reacts with sulfur dioxide in aqueous medium to form the ferrous salt this property is called as reducing property moist sulfur dioxide also reduces moist sulfur dioxide also reduces halogens in chlorine bromine iodine into corresponding halo acids moist sulfur dioxide reduces any halogens into corresponding halo acids for example this iodine can reduce by using sulfur dioxide in water to gives the hydrogen iodide halo acid all these are the chemical properties of sulfur dioxide 
what is chemical properties reactions of number of compounds variety of compounds with sulfur dioxide then see the next uses of sulfur dioxide how to use sulfur dioxide so uses of so2 sulfur dioxide first very important use of sulfur dioxide it is used in it is used in refining refining of petroleum refining of petroleum and sugars first very important use of sulfur dioxide is that sulfur dioxide is used in refining that is purification of petroleum you know the petroleum all substances can obtain in earth crust that earth crust petroleum are the impurifiers that can be purified by using the sulfur dioxide so first use is the refining of petroleum as well as sugars sugar is obtained from the sugar canes that is in impurified form can be purified by using the sulfur dioxide this is the first use petroleum and sugars can refine second use sulfur dioxide is used for bleaching of wools and silk it is used for bleaching bleaching of wool and silk wool and silk both are the fibers wool and silk both are the fibers which are generally used for winnings of cloths different cloths can be prepared from the wools generally the cloths prepared from the wools are used in winter seasons because these are the warms also the silk cloths both silk and wool fibers can be undergoes bleaching by using the so2 that undergoes softening bleaching next sulfur dioxide is used as used as anti chlor anti chlor sulfur dioxide is used as anti chlor and disinfectant this Infectant anti chlor generally in vehicles the engines in that engines the sulfur dioxide can flush off and it gives some noise that noise can be reduced by using the sulfur dioxide so it is called as anti chlor and disinfectant whenever any person can suffering from the Wounds. Then some microorganisms can obtain on that wounds that can be killed by using the sulfur dioxide. That process is called as disinfectant. So sulfur dioxide is used as anti chlor as well as disinfectant. Next, sulfur dioxide is used as it is used as preservative. preservatives in biological laboratories there are some biological specimens that biological specimens can preserved in sulfur dioxide so sulfur dioxide is used as preservatives due to that preservations the life of that biological specimens can be increased so the biological preservative used as the sulfur dioxide it is used in manufacture of manufacture of sulfuric acid that is king of chemicals sulfuric acid is the king of chemical which is manufactured by using the sulfur dioxide and sodium bisulfate sodium bisulfate both compounds can manufactured by using the sulfur dioxide 
देन लास्ट यूज लिक्विड लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड जनरली सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज ऑकर्ड इन द गैसेस इन एटमोस्फियर दैट इज ऑकर्ड ड्यू टू द ऑफ्टर ड्यू टू द नंबर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज बट वेन एवर द सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड कैन टेकन इन लिक्विड फॉर्म देन इट इज यूज्ड एज लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज यूज्ड एज सॉल्वेंट लिक्विड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज यूज्ड एज सॉल्वेंट to dissolve number of organic compounds as well as inorganic compounds those cannot be dissolved in water for that purpose the sulfur dioxide is used as the solvent so these are the simple uses of sulfur dioxide first used for the refining of petroleum and sugars second one bleaching of wool and silk third it is used as anti chlorine and disinfectant next one is the sulfur dioxide is as a preservatives for biological specimens and last one that is important which is used for the manufacture of sulfuric acid and sodium bisulfate liquid so2 is used as organic solvent those substances cannot dissolved in water for that purpose sulfur dioxide is used these are very simple uses of sulfur dioxide here sulfur dioxide is over then see the next compound of sulfur next compound of sulfur that is named as sulfuric acid next compound is the sulfuric acid Having formula H two S O four is the sulfuric acid. First of all, see the preparation method of that sulfuric acid. Preparation methods. First preparation method of sulfuric acid. Name of that method is the contact method or contact process. Contact process. This is very important process. Generally, for three marks, this process of preparation of sulfuric acid can be asked in board pattern. But that is contact process. in contact process sulfuric acid is prepared from the sulfur dioxide in following four steps sulfuric acid is prepared from sulfur dioxide in following four steps it is prepared it is prepared in following following four steps four Steps from sulfur dioxide or sulfur from sulfur. Say contact process. It is sulfur dioxide. It is in this case sulfur dioxide is prepared in following four steps from sulfur heated heated in air at heated in air at 720 kelvin temperature 720 kelvin temperature in 2 bar atmospheric pressure 2 bar atmospheric pressure to gives the sulfuric acid second sulfuric acid is prepared from sulfur when that sulfur is heated in air It required a temperature seven twenty Kelvin temperature and two bar atmospheric pressure. Then sulfuric acid is prepared. That process is called as contact process. See the four steps. Step first. In step first, the sulfur is burnt in air to use the sulfur dioxide. Sulfur burnt 
in air to gives sulfur dioxide first step very simple step take the sulfur then burnt in air to gives the sulfur dioxide in second step that sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide again it can burn in presence of vanadium pentoxide step second so2 converted into so3 so2 converted into so3 by using by using vanadium pentoxide v2o5 sulfur dioxide again burn in air in presence of v2o5 then it converted into sulfur trioxide sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide for that purpose it requires two moles of sulfur dioxide then burnt in air to gives the sulfur trioxide in second step in third step step third that sulfur trioxide absorbed in concentrate h2so4 the so3 absorb absorbs in concentrate h2so4 to gives to gives oleum in third step sulfur trioxide absorbs in concentrate h2so4 to form the oleum so3 plus concentrate h2 so4 sulfur trioxide absorbs in concentrate h2so4 to gives the h2 s2o7 is called as oleum oleum is the third step and last fourth one step is the step fourth step fourth oleum dissolve in water dissolve in water to gives h2so4 what oleum is converted into the h2so4 oleum h2s2o7 plus h2 water then it converted into the h2so4 so these are the four steps in preparation of sulfuric acid that process is called as contact process and question may be asked how to prepare sulfuric acid by contact process at that time you it gives the what four steps in step first sulfur burnt in air to gives the sulfur dioxide you would require the required reactions second step conversion of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide by using vanadium pentoxide Yes, O2 converted into SO3. Third step, conversion of sulfur trioxide into oleum. And last step, conversion of oleum into sulfuric acid. So these are the four steps of preparation of sulfuric acid. After that, see the physical properties of sulfuric acid. physical properties of any compounds can indicates their external appearance means to what its physical states then solidity natures boiling and melting points so see the physical properties physical properties of SO2 physical properties of sorry H2SO4 sulfuric acid which are the physical properties of sulfuric acid first physical property it is colorless it is colorless then dense oily liquid 
sulfuric acid is colorless does not have any color second dense having density more than that of water dense oily substance and liquid form physical state is the liquid form it has density it has density 1.84 gram per centimeter cube the density of sulfuric acid is 1.84 grams per centimeter cube we know that the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube the density of sulfuric acid is more than water therefore it is denser than that of the water dense than that of the water it freezes it freezes at 283 kelvin temperature sulfuric acid is a liquid form liquid is converted into the solids that is called as freezing for that freezing it required the 283 kelvin temperature and boils at and boils at 611 kelvin temperature freezing point and boiling point of what sulfuric acid then sulfuric acid is highly corrosive it is highly highly corrosive means what whenever the sulfuric acid is put for any vessels that be of metal then it undergoes corrosion suppose sulfuric acid is taken in iron metals of vessels then that vessel can be corroded so it is highly corrosive in nature so all these are the physical properties of sulfuric acid then see the uses of h2so4 uses of sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is the king of chemical which is used for different purposes first it is used in manufacture of it is used in manufacture of fertilizers fertilizers different fertilizers can be prepared by using the sulfuric acid second one it is used in manufacture of manufacture of pigments colors manufacture of pigments then paints paints and dye soap and dye stops see again first use used in preparation or manufacture of fertilizer second used in manufacture of pigments colors paints and dye stops second one it is used in refining of petroleum refining of petroleum like to the sulfur dioxide it is also used for the refining of petroleum industries then most it is used in storage battery sulfur sulfuric acid widely used in storage battery and last it is used in metallurgy metallurgy sulfuric acid is used in metallurgy for the cleaning of metals by electroplating and galvanizing and last one it is used in manufacture of nitrocells nitrocellulose nitrocellulose so these are the uses of sulfuric acid first in fertilizer second in manufacture of pigments paints dye stuffs third used in refining of petroleum next used in storage battery sulfuric acid is used in metallurgy for cleaning of metals by electroplating and galvanizing and last one it is used in manufacture of nitrocellulose products nitrocellulose products so so these are the uses of sulfuric acid okay in next period we will discuss about the chemical properties of sulfuric acid okay thank you